My name is Naomi.、Uh, I live in Tokyo and work in advertising. Morikawa Tatsuo desu. Mokko shokurin desu. So, this chair is called Agnes. It's inspired by Agnes Martin, who is an American painter that I really, really like. Three people involved in making this chair. I drew this sort of skeletal blueprint to create Agnes, a wood craftsman, worked his magic. And then at the very end, the tatami shokunin created a customized seat for the top part of the chair. I started s t a n d No More two years ago. It's a collection of art and furniture. It's in the middle of being developed, so in many ways it's still undefined. But a lot of it is about Sort of taking my artistic ideas and putting them on paper. Then I have an opportunity to work with other people to actually produce them as tangible objects. It's been a really slow process, but I kind of appreciate that, mainly because living in Tokyo, where everything is so fast paced, it's nice to have a chance to slow down. And focus on the conversations with the people that I work with and really deepen that kind of creative process. そこから興味が出て、飛騨高山に使用に行ってます。技術っていうのは、まあ情報の一種であって、あれとの絵の具の一種であって、何を作るかっていうことが大事なのかなっていう気はします。うん。The importance of Stan and Moore is to deliberately create conversations with people who come from tradition and people who have sustained and maintained this, like. Part of well of knowledge that is currently dying. I specifically try and work with、uh, Japanese craftsmen in order to think of ways to either sustain this pool of knowledge or to see if there's any other way we can use what they know and evolve it into another new object. So, if I give a drawing and then he comes back with me with one additional sort of feature or element to the chair, I think that's kind of interesting and, and funny and it could kickstart you know, a new conversation. They were all surprisingly really, really enthusiastic about the idea of wanting to create something new and using skills and techniques that they had always known but in a different way. And I think I was very encouraged because oftentimes I think there's a very specific Perception that people have of craftsmen, how they're traditionalists and they don't like change and they don't want to explore new things, but that's really not true at all. I think you'll find a lot of people who want to explore new ways of using the techniques that they've perfected over hundreds of years. And this is the exciting part, and I think this is really where new technology and, and new opportunities emerge from this type of collaboration. 伝統高校に縛られすぎても結局みんな同じものを作りだったらそれが正解だっていくらでも言えるんですけどそれを利用してもっと違う提案できるかっていうことの方が興味があって昔の職人さんもなんか別に伝統高校に縛られていたわけじゃないと思うんですよ常にねあの革新革新でやってたことに対して我々がなんかそれを守らなきゃって別に思うようもないような気がします
I think if Stand No More can be a platform that connects people, that allows for different conversations and different dialogues to start, it would be wonderful. I ultimately don't want to be the only designer on the platform, so it would be great to find more voices and pull in more sort of artistic minds um, to expand Stand No More.